Hi, I got many comments all over the world. I made a video in English because the viewers say they don't understand Japanese narration. I used to ride this car a lot when I was a kid. It's a memorable vehicle for me. I can't see this vehicle now. First of all, create the drawing. The vehicle I was trying to make happened to have a drawing on the internet. I downloaded and printed the drawing. However, the dimensions shown in this drawing are actual dimensions. I divide these dimensions by 18 and write a model drawing. The drawing is complete. The format of this vehicle is Kuha 86. This vehicle has different right side and left side windows arrangement. The window on this side is small. And the development view on the front is complicated. This is the development view on the front. Next, make a mark on the brass plate for cutting. This is called Kegaki Bari in Japanese. This is called Kojaku in Japanese. It is an iron ruler. The using tool are this and this. The brass plate is 200mm by 300mm and has a thickness of 0.3mm. I used to buy this brass plate for 430N. I can make two vehicles with one brass plate. Then I will mark the brass plate. I made a cut mark on the brass plate. This work is called Kegaku in Japanese. This work is complete. I can make two cards from one seat brass plate. Next, I cut this brass plate to each one car. The using tool is third saw for procession, procession processing. I spray a brass plate with a lubricant. It can be cut without spraying lubricant. However, the teeth of the saw will last longer if you spray the lubricant. This cut must be carefully cut straight. The video is fast falling but don't cut it so quickly. I cut each one car. Next, I open the windows. First work, I make a small holes in the four corners of the window. I dent hole position. The using tool is center punch and hammer.
I've done the work of staining the hole's position. Next, I use a draw to open small holes. I've done this work of open small holes. I remove one blade of the saw. Then I insert the teeth of the saw into the hole. This work does not need to be cut actually because I will finish it with a rasp in a lera work. Seat metal windows opened. However, the cut is rough. For the next task, I use a vice and rasp for procession processing. First, I use a round rasp to the sharpen the four corners of the window. Next, I use a flat rasp to the sharpen the straight part of the window. This work need very perseverance, and it take long time, because I must do it that same work very all windows and doors. In the same way, I finish all windows and doors.
In this way, I finished cut the windows and doors. However, the edge of the windows of JNR vehicles are not right angles. These photos are other vehicles. The edge of the window is little slanted. Then, I must shave into little slanted. Now, I shaved only two windows into slanted. This edges of windows is a chilaba. It not must shaved. I will shave the windows of remaining. Now, I shaved all windows. Then, it is finished this work. Next, I make the front part. The method of the making is the same as the method I have been talking about. I use a center punch to dent the place where I want to make a hole, drill a hole, cut it with a wire saw, sharp it with a last end finish. The front part must have holes of various sizes, such as typhoon and tail lamps. I make holes of each size. I haven't scraped the windows near the holes because I may not be able to bend well if I cut it perfectly. The ventilator of the roof is I will use commercially available parts. I make holes at the roof to touch a ventilator.
I will try to attach the parts. Bending work. This work is I use two bias and two wood like this. The edges of the wood used for bending are shaved according to the curve of each vehicle. This wood edge doesn't match the drawing. The model I'm making right now is an 80 series train, so I'll bending it using this wood. I align the line on the wood with the starting position of the seat metal bending. Then secure it with solofin tape so that it will not slip. And I set two bias. I clamp the seat metal with another piece of wood and fix it in two bias. Ready to bend. The wood in front must be aligned with the bending start position. I press and bend seat metal with such wood. This time on the other side. Similarly, I fix with solofin tape. I sandwich it with another piece of wood. And I set two bias. First, lightly tighten the bias. The wood in front must be aligned with the bending start position. Finally, tighten the vice firmly. Then I press and bend seat metal with such wood. I can form the bend with the drawing. The wood I am using now is the wood I got from the scrap wood of the house under construction. Therefore, the bending tool does not cost any money. Next, I make the front part. The front part is small, so I bend it with nose pliers. This work is loose without gazes. Somehow, I bended the front part. I create with a drawing. Is it a little different? How about this time? I have to bend a little more. How about this time? Okay, let's go with this. Next, I solder the front part. First, 
I sold only one point inside. This soldering arranges the whole shape so that heat does not speed. I cut the solder into short pieces. And I do soldering. Similarly, I solder only the other side. Make the solder thick here so that it will not melt easily with heat. Next, I solder the outside. The outside I soldered in the line. I do it quickly so that the heat does not go to the other part. When the soldering work is finished, I sharpen it with a rasp. The shape of the front part was roughly made. At this point, I'll finish the window, that part of the windows I hadn't shaved. By the way, the sheet metal of the car body is only bent at the corners. The roof is still flat. I bent this flat roof into round. The using tool are Japanese cushion and mop. Wait a minute. Don't laugh. This is the best tool for me to save money. First, fold the cushion into two. On top of that, put the sheet metal of the car body inside out. And hold it down like this. I've already made 10 models with this method. The thickness of this stick is just right. The cushion, it is easier to use a cushion that is a little softer than this. This is done. <laughs> Another one too. Then the bending of the sheet metal of the car body was completed. After that, I will assemble the door, front parts, and back parts by soldering. The solder is put on the 3D curve part like putty.
at the end, scrape off the excess solder and finish. Next, I put on a rain gutter. Rain gutter uses brass wire of 0.85. I flatten the side of the rain gutter. I will make a part to attach the rider mating diode of the tail lamp. Next, I make an underfloor mounting bracket. This is I made from brass plate with a thickness of 0.5 mm. I make a 2 mm screw top in this hole.
I make the interior of the vehicle. Two 0.3 mm thick brass plate are stacked on top of each other. This is one of them. This is the second brass plate, which is the upper part of the window. I make a small hole to attach a cross lock. I'm making a bar that houses a sunshade. I'm making the second brass plate, which is the under part of the window. I am making ash trays. The current vehicle is not smoking and there is no ash trays. However, the vehicle I made was an old vehicle and had ash trays. Next, I solder the cross is lock. 0.3 mm brass wire is used for cross is lock. Next, I'm making a luggage rack.
The luggage rack of this vehicle was made of mesh, but I couldn't come up with the material to make the net. There is no help for it, so I decided to use brass wire. This completes the sheet metal work around the car body. The rest is the work of painting and assembling. However, I can't find the shooting data. Maybe I think it disappeared when the hard disk broke. I'm sorry that I couldn't show the detailed video after this. Thank you for watching this far.